Get ready to travel back 230 million years ago when dinosaurs ruled the Earth. Don't forget to click the thumbs up and subscribe. You can find a link to three free dinosaur posters in the description. About 66 million years ago, something big happened that made the dinosaurs disappear. Scientists think it might have been a huge space rock or a volcano that changed the whole planet. Let's go and explore some of our favorite dinosaurs. Triceratops means three-horned face. It's named this way because it had three distinct horns on its head. They were a plant-eating dinosaur. It used its beak-like mouth to munch on leaves, shrubs, and other vegetation. A triceratops was about 26 to 30 feet. That's about as long as a school bus. The bony frill on the back of its head helped protect its neck and could have been used to scare away predators by making itself look bigger. Their horns were not just for show, they were also useful for protecting themselves. They could use their horns to fight off predators like the T-Rex. Pterodactyls, also known as pterosaurs, were not dinosaurs but flying reptiles that lived during the time of the dinosaurs. There were many different types of pterodactyls, ranging in size and shape. Some had long tails, while others had short ones. Pterodactyls had sharp beaks and some even had teeth. They used their beaks to catch fish and other small animals, just like modern birds. They had impressive wingspans. Some could be as small as a pigeon, while others had wingspans as wide as a small airplane. Brachiosaurus was a massive dinosaur known for its incredibly long neck, which made it one of the tallest land animals that ever lived. Brachiosaurus feasted on plants, such as ferns, leaves, and other vegetation. Its neck could stretch up to 30 feet high, allowing it to reach leaves and vegetation in tall trees that other dinosaurs couldn't. Imagine standing beside a four-story building. Brachiosaurus could have been as tall as that building, with its neck rising high into the sky. An interesting feature of Brachiosaurus was its nostrils. They were located on the top of its head, similar to a modern-day snorkel, which helped it breathe while keeping most of its body underwater. The Tyrannosaurus rex was one of the most famous and fearsome meat-eating dinosaurs. It was a top predator in its time. Also known as a T-Rex, they lived around 68 to 66 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. Despite its huge size, T-Rex had small arms that looked a bit funny. Scientists aren't entirely sure why, but some think those arms might have been used for holding onto prey while it ate. Scientists have found T-Rex fossils mainly in North America. These fossils help us learn more about its appearance and how it lived. Acrocanthosaurus had a line of spiky bones along its back. These spikes might have made it look scarier to other dinosaurs. It had sharp teeth that it used to catch and tear apart its prey. Its strong back legs helped it run fast and catch its food. Acrocanthosaurus was about as long as a school bus and could stand as tall as a two-story house. Compsognathus was a super small dinosaur, about the size of a chicken. It lived during the late Jurassic period. Despite its small size, Compsognathus was a speedy runner. Its long legs helped it zip around to catch insects, lizards, and even small mammals for its meals. Spinosaurus was a gigantic dinosaur that lived a long time ago. It's famous for being one of the largest meat-eating dinosaurs ever discovered. They were likely to be great swimmers and spent a lot of time in and around water. Its long legs and paddle-like feet helped it move through the water. On its back, Spinosaurus had a long, sail-like structure made of bones. Some scientists think this sail might have helped regulate its body temperature or attract mates. Instead of sharp teeth like other meat-eating dinosaurs, Spinosaurus had a long, crocodile-like snout filled with conical teeth that were perfect for catching slippery fish. They lived around 112 to 93 million years ago during the early Cretaceous period. Fossils of Spinosaurus have been found in parts of Africa, mainly in places like Morocco and Egypt. Plesiosaurs were prehistoric marine reptiles. They swam in oceans all around the world, from shallow waters to deep seas. What made plesiosaurs special was the unique body structure. They had a long neck, usually with a small head on the end, and a big body with flippers that looked like paddles. This design helped them glide gracefully through the water. Don't forget to click the thumbs up and subscribe. You can find a link to three free dinosaur posters in the description.